Welcome back, art students. All right, we're gonna continue on with our Sundial project. I am going to be um, designing and decorating my stone with some paint. Let's go ahead and get that started. I looked at some ideas from my um, reference papers to see what some of the patterns were. So I'm just gonna um, go ahead and get inspired by that and then try to do something cool over here. All right, I think I'm gonna start with the middle. I'm gonna start with the top here. Now, you don't have to do the exact same design as me. This is really the fun part of the project. How you decide to decorate your sundial is up to you. I want this to be um, colorful. Notice I'm only using neutral colors. I'm only using white, brown, and black. Uh, I want to try to keep it natural looking to some of the colors that were available way back in time. I'm going to go around the base. I like to start with a circle maybe. Now, you might be a student that wants to completely cover this entire project with uh, paint with your design and you can do that you absolutely can do that if that's what you want go for the look that you like um, the thing about it though is if you do cover the entire thing in paint understand you might not get that stone like appearance anymore because you painted right over it so keep that in mind too as you're painting your design I'm gonna stick with some of the basic uh, patterns I think we're gonna start with basic circle line right there and then I think I'm gonna do um, let's do a zigzag line which will be basically triangles that go around as we radiate our way around Try to leave uh, the edge on the outside kind of available because that's where you're going to have to mark on there um, the time of the day. Oh, this is actually reminding me of the sun. How ironic is that? I just naturally felt like I had to do that. Interesting. Cool idea. I like it. Also, you don't have to use all of the neutral colors if you don't want to. If you want to just use white, you can just use white. If you want to just use black, you can just use black. If you want to use two colors, you can use two colors. There we go. All right, so I got around there with that. Kind of like that. I think I'm gonna switch over to some black now. This is really relaxing, and this really is the fun part of the project. I like these black triangles as I'm going around here.
pretty simple. It's not too intense. I think I want to try to use some brown now. I just want to outline that pattern with some brown. And then I think that's going to be simply the put done. Remember, your design can be totally different. But notice I started in the center and then I radiated my way around the outside. In a sense, I kind of thought of it being um, a lot like our, um, what do we call those? I can't remember. Our mandalas. It's kind of like the mandala project, except on a stone now. But again, you can do yours differently. If you want yours to be asymmetrical design and not too symmetrical or radial, radially symmetrical, you can let it that be. All right, the only thing I have left to do is after this dries, um, I have to take my sundial outside, see where the shadow is casting, and then mark a little mark at the specific hour of the day as I continue to go around. And then on the reverse side of my sundial is where I can write what time of the day that indicates so that I can quick see where the shadow is, pinch my finger, turn it over, and then see what time of the day that is reflecting as. Okay, that's very simply put, how you use your sundial. All right, um, good job, students. Um, way to go.